This week's game puts you in the shoes of a curious child exploring the southern Louisiana bayous when you come across a nest of prehistoric dinosaur eggs. Oh wait, those aren't dinosaur ah! eggs. Let's hang on to those never-ending days of summer here on The Bean Farm. And this is our review of... Best Month Ever! I'd like to thank the publisher for providing me a review copy of the game prior to its release. It was developed by... Warsaw Film School Video Game and Film Production Studio. It was published by... Kalabita. The game released on May 5th to the Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch marketplaces for the asking price of $19.99. By now, I'm sure you've seen my labeling for this game as a mature title, as its storyline covers a mature and extremely sensitive subject matter that, although somehow historically accurate, it's hard to see people being treated in this manner. Cast into the role of a terminally ill mother, down on her luck and strapped for resources, you must do whatever it takes to reunite your son with his unknowing father through strife and turmoil as you travel across the southwest in the 1960s American landscape. The tale of sexism, violence, molestation, and racism may be hard for some to endure, but it's a wonderful story of a mother's love. Just know, you've been warned. I went into this game completely blind, without any notion of what I was going to experience, which is exactly the way I would recommend anyone interested in this experience to jump into it. I'll try my best not to spoil the storyline, all the while showcasing some of the game's best moments and glaring deficiencies. You take part in a roller coaster of emotions with Louise embarking on a road trip of a lifetime through the late 1960s USA, trying to show her son Mitch how to navigate the often cruel and modern world. Telling good from bad was never easy. Okay. All the less, you're a single mom in your late 20s with a clever eight-year-old under your care. Each choice you make here has crucial few moments we all know may change our lives for good in the split of a second. Influence what kind of person Mitch turns out to be and what values shall guide him once he becomes his own man. You'll find clues as to why Louise's life is like it is today. Take crucial decisions no other person would be strong enough to stomach and show Mitch what he needs to see in order for him to become an independent, suave, and brave enough to conquer the day. Every choice here has consequences. Your decisions really matter, so keep track of Mitch's growth as a person. Each choice you make adds positive or negative points to three key characteristics. You've got righteousness, confidence, and relations. These influence what type of ending Mitch will reach at the end of the game. And there are nine unique endings in total. <laughs> Choose wisely, my friends. The, the 1960s were a tumulus in more than just one way. The summer of love, the Vietnam War, the survivors and the losers of the great upheaval in history. Travel across the country and meet a wide variety of characters from different walks of life that may help or dissuade Louise from your goals, including the most controversial of groups. <laughs> I thought these guys were ancient about history. To join them, you nosy cunt. Whoa, language. The game includes many controversial subjects, some that are pretty hard to play through. But as you, the player, are given a variety of choices to make as you endure these hardships, <laughs> The choices are kind of in your hands. I really appreciate the voice actors as they speak out all of the text and dialogue within the game. Good job, guys. This really helps develop meaningful and lasting character roles all throughout the storyline. Now, having read and said all that, is the game really worth your hard-earned 20 bucks for what they're asking for? <laughs> well, 
No, actually. As you've seen in my gameplay, although the character environments are highly stylized, designed well, and the storyline is well written and extremely well, the execution just seems to have fallen flat on its face. The game just seems to have been rushed to the market in a half-completed form, lacking overall polish and final design. Several scenes take place in a zoomed-out fashion, in an obvious attempt to hide the low-res textures and unfinished artwork. These are all tricks you could have easily got away with in the early 90s PC market, but in the current-gen marketplace, I don't think so, guys. The overall character movements here reminded me of Resident Evil-style 90s tank controls. In my single evening with the game, I experienced two separate occurrences of dashboard crashes while playing on a Series X console. Uh, this shouldn't be happening. Uh, pair this with the fact that the game still suffers from the dreaded glitched achievement, Unlock All Achievements. This is currently Killing broken, making bastard. the total completion unobtainable. I don't know this dude, Inexcusable. but perfect and with so much obvious game. love that went into designing this game, Hello? it's hard to see its failed Who execution. It's still a thrill ride through branching choices and they affect your karma, but oh you never God. really see the effects of What's your choices within the storyline until the final endings. So, I see the love here, but so much of it is left unpolished, which left our score right in the middle of the road with two and a half. Yeah, well, that wraps up that review right there. Here's some notes I took where I put the keys to the truck. So, you know, we make these new review videos every week. So, if you're an indie developer or there's something you want to see... Fortnite, Dad. Do Fortnite. Boy, you done lost your mind. Let us know your thoughts and recommendations in the comments down below. Be sure to visit again next week as we continue to take humorous stabs at some of the industry's new and upcoming titles. Stories untold. Be safe out there. We'll see you next time on The Fox.